Hi, I'm Matt Chan and we're at Rogue HQ today and we're going to look at the Rogue lineup of barbells made right here in Columbus, Ohio. When we look at these, we're going to take a look at the diameter, the strength, the neural type, bushing versus bearing, the application, and the whip. First, we're going to have a look at the Rogue Bar 2.0, which is a 28.5 millimeter bar. It's 190K tensile strength steel, which means that it's going to have good whip. Whip is when the bar bends and returns to straight. It's stored elastic energy. Now, it's not gonna have as much whip as one of our Olympic weightlifting bars, but it's gonna have more whip than a powerlifting bar. The neural of the bar is going to be a standard rogue neural. It's got two neural marks, a powerlifting neural mark and an Olympic weightlifting neural mark. This neural is gonna satisfy most users of the gym. Once you get out here to the sleeve, you're gonna find that this bar has two composite bushings. A composite bushing is great for gym applications where you see a lot of cycles of high repetitions throughout a day, month, or year. We also have added a customizable machined in channel where you can add a band. I would choose to put a blue band in for a men's bar and a yellow band in for a female bar. That way I, my users in my gym can actually easily identify which bar is going to be right for them. Next, let's have a look at the Ohio bar. The Ohio bar is similar to the Rogue Bar 2.0 in that it has the same 28.5 millimeter, 190K tensile strength steel, which means that it's going to have good whip. The neural is also the same. We're gonna find that it's got that standard Rogue full neural with the dual mark, the powerlifting mark and the Olympic weightlifting mark. As we get out to the sleeve, that's where things change. You're gonna find that in the sleeve, we've got two bronze bushings. These bronze bushings are the standard that have been used for years upon years in barbells. They spin well, they resist damage well, and this is kind of like the old faithful barbell. This is the one that's tried and true and sturdy as can be. This bar is the first bar that was manufactured in Columbus, Ohio at the Rogue factory from start to finish. That's the Ohio bar. Next up, we've got the Ohio Power Bar. The Ohio Power Bar has got an entirely different type of steel used in this bar. It's a 29 millimeter diameter bar, 205K tensile strength. It's a general use powerlifting bar. Now, are there other bars that you'll see used in powerlifting applications like a deadlift bar, a bench bar, or a squat bar? Absolutely, but this bar is meant to be capable in all three of those lifts for general humans. If you're back squatting 1,000 pounds, you might want to get a squat bar. If you're deadlifting 800 plus pounds, you might want to get a deadlift bar. But this bar is meant for power lifting in all three or more movements. Let's move on to the knurling. The knurling is an aggressive knurl. You're gonna feel that in a pull like a deadlift, and also it's gonna feel really solid in your hands for a bench press. Moving on to the sleeve, we're gonna see that Rogue has brought the same robust design and construction of the Ohio Power Bar as what we saw on the other bars. That means that it's got two bronze bushings in each sleeve, as well as that same snap ring design. This is the Ohio Power Bar. Next up, let's take a look at the Rogue Matt Chan Bar, bar that I'm very familiar with. This bar was built on my specifications based on years of using a barbell. What you're gonna find is that this bar is built on the same chassis as the Ohio bar, meaning that it's the same 28.5 millimeter, 190K tensile strength steel. That means it's gonna have the same whip as both the Rogue Bar 2.0 and the Ohio bar. Now, where things get different are in the neural. The neural on the outside is going to be more aggressive than the Ohio bar or the Rogue bar. And I've moved the neural out a little bit. Instead of being 17 and a half inches from the sleeve, to the end of the neural, it's only 15 and a half inches, meaning that you've now got a little bit of extra space to allow that smooth part of the bar make, to make contact with your legs and, and not end up with racing stripes up your shins. We've got two neural marks just like most of the other bars. We've got the power lifting neural mark and the Olympic weight lifting neural mark. The center neural is another difference. We've got a five inch center neural that's a, a very passive neural. It's not gonna leave you too marked up, but it will stick to your shirt both in the front and the back rack. In the sleeve construction, we've got two bronze bushings. That's gonna give it that same spin and uh, wear and tear that's perfect for general application in a gym or in a garage gym setting. That's the Matt Chan bar. Now let's have a look at the Ole training bar. This Ole training bar is 28 millimeters in diameter, 190K tensile strength, 
which means this bar is going to have a great whip to it. We're going to see a lot of bend and rebound uh, to back to straight with this barbell. One of the critical components of an Olympic weightlifting bar is the neural, and this neural has been fine-tuned over six months to a year by getting it into great athletes' hands and finding out what they love, and this is what we came up with. It's a little more passive than an Ohio bar, but it's going to be just what you need for those Olympic weightlifts uh, as well as general application. It's a single neural mark. Uh, we only have the Olympic weightlifting neural mark on this bar. Once we move out to the sleeves, we've got that standard Ohio bar construction where we've got two bronze bushings uh, in each sleeve, which gives it great spin and also a lot of durability. This is the Ole training bar. Next, let's take a look at the Rogue Olympic weightlifting bar. We set out to create the greatest Olympic weightlifting bar on the market. We feel like we've hit our mark, so let's talk about some of the attributes. We've got a 28 millimeter bar that's 190,000 tensile strength. What that means is this bar is gonna have great whip. We're gonna see that it's gonna bend and return to straight very nicely with each lift. We spent six months to a year refining this neural sending it out to different weightlifters and having them send it back with their feedback. And what we found is that we've got a great balance for all of their needs. This is one of the biggest features of this bar is the neural. It's a little more passive than what we see with the Ohio bar. And we've also got that single neural mark uh, for Olympic weightlifting. Now let's talk about the functionality of this bar. In order to have a fast, consistent spin on a bar, you've got to have the straightest bar possible. And this bar has been straightened to within 15 thousandths of an inch. Once we have a bar that's as straight as an arrow, then we can have a consistent spin on the bar. And with this bar, we've got five sets of needle bearings inside the sleeve. That's going to give us a spin unlike any other. This gives us a bar that we feel is made for the platform. This is the Rogue Olympic weightlifting bar. Whether you're lifting in your garage, in a CrossFit gym, or on the platform, you're gonna find that one of these barbells is gonna suit your needs. Each one of them is guaranteed for life. If you have any questions, email team at roguefitness.com.